Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel and my review of this light, the Olight M2R Pro Warrior. Yes, uh, this is a very uh, advanced tactical light. If, you're, if you need a light to uh, be a complement to your firearm, this is something you definitely want to consider. Now, Olight is having a crazy sale on this light and they've asked me not to publish this video until like just before the sale. All right, so the information on that sale will be in the text description box. Check that out, it's going to save you a lot of money. Now I have a few multi-tools instead of knives in the background for this video because there's been news in the multi-tool world. What do I have in the background? The Leatherman K4 is now available. Just became available last week. I just got this today. I'm going to be doing a full review of this, right? But they are on Amazon right now. I will include a link to this and other Leathermans. I've already reviewed that, the T4. The P4 I have not reviewed yet, but I do want to review this first. I just think it's, I think this is a, a pretty useful design by Leatherman. And this is a brand new multi-tool by Byberry. This just became available uh, this month as well, right? Byberry 13-in-1. I'll include a link. You want to see the whole tool set. This has one of the most comprehensive tool sets that I've seen. I swear it has more than 13 uh, tools because it, it's very, it's very well-rounded. All right, so check that out. I'll include the link. $38 right now. Okay, that's the uh, multi-tool update. And the reason I have those updates is because I want my videos to have a little bit of everything in case you're not looking for a flashlight. I want to hook up my, my knife viewers and my multi-tool viewers. Okay, now on with the review of this Warrior. And here's a closer look at the light itself. It has texture here for grip, removable pocket clip, it's got a lit side switch. Check out the nasty uh, strike bezel. This also has a TIR lens and it has a tail switch. Now here are the stats on the light. So the max lumens 1800 and it's got six different brightness levels and strobe. And you see the run times for all those brightness levels and the step downs for those brightness levels. And the max beam distance 300 meters. The light also comes with this high quality belt pouch. As you can see, there's the belt loop. So that's a very nice uh, accessory. Basic operation of the light. To turn the light on, you press the side switch. To turn it off, you press the side switch. Once it is on, if you press and hold, it will cycle through low, medium, medium two, and the high mode. Let's do that now. All right, that is the high mode. Double tap brings turbo. Right, triple tap will bring strobe. Warning, we're gonna strobe. And there's the strobe. Now it also has a moonlight mode. If when it is off, if you long press, you will get the little moonlight mode. Now the tail switch has two settings. The first one is the default setting. And basically, if you just press it like that, it'll give you turbo. If you half press it, it will give you medium. Right? And if you full press it again, it'll give you turbo but it'll be momentary on. Right, so that is the first configuration. Now to change the configurations, you press this, warning, this is gonna flash. You press the side switch while you're pressing the tail switch, right? And now it has changed, right? So now this is the second configuration for the tail switch. All right, warning, there's gonna be more flashing. If I half press, it'll give turbo. If I full press, it'll give strobe, right? So two different choices for how you want to configure uh, that tail switch. Now to get at the battery, just unscrew the tail cap. This uses a 21700, right? Lithium ion battery. And this is the battery that it comes with, 21700, huge capacity. Now that battery is rechargeable in the light and in order to recharge it, it comes with that recharging cable and charging dock right there. That is magnetic. 
This is also magnetic, so to recharge it, you just plug that cable into any USB power source, that's uh, my power bank, and you just, there you go. So now it is recharging, right? And when it's recharging, that's going to be red. See that little red glow there? And when it's fully charged, that will turn green. Now I want to make clear that high quality battery is included with the light and so is that cable. Now about that charging cable that comes with this, as you see, the newly uh, designed charging wire can hold 2 amp current, increasing charging rate 100%. Okay, so this is quick charging technology. All right, at this point I'm going to roll in my testing and demonstration footage from outside and then we'll be back for final thoughts and conclusions on this light. Okay, YouTube, we're out here on the testing board. Let's cycle through the brightness levels with this O light. All right, this is the low mode. All right, so that's the high mode. Double tap for turbo. Oh, focus. Wow. And that is the turbo. Alright, now let me show you the moonlight mode. It's a very low mode. Right, that's... That's moonlight. Alright, strobe warning. We're gonna strobe ya. And that is the strobe. Wow. It's a nice strobe. And back to the turbo. Wow, I mean, that is a... Uh, a very bright light for sure. All right, YouTube, we're out in the field on the road with no street lights with this O light. Let's go to full turbo. Wow. All right, let's see what we can see. This is a nice focused beam. Yeah, check that out. Focus. Yeah, so down the road with this O light. There's not much on the road, the, uh, the uh, abandoned road, with no houses and no street lights. But this is certainly lighting it up. Yeah, look at that nice spotlight effect. Alright, walking down towards Frog Creek. So what do we got on uh, this end of the road? It's a nice hill. And more trees. Yes. Pretty lonely country road and it's getting cold. And here we are overlooking Frog Creek. Let's uh... There's a creek. There's a water. Wow, nice and bright down there. With this light. It's like daytime down there. I'm up on the banks of the creek. I'm way up here. Opposite bank. Up to the treetops. There's Bigfoot now. Is it? Just a leaf. <laughs> yeah, so this is doing a good job of lighting up Frog Creek. And again, what I notice is the focused beam, which is very good if this was on your shotgun, for obvious reasons. There's no houses on this road, luckily, so I can just, uh, mess around without disturbing anyone. All right, YouTube, there you go. This Olight at Frog Creek. And here's just more shots on the road. Disappearing into the distance. You can see there's a little bit of uh, haze and humidity in the air. All right, here is a nice top view of the beam shot on this Olight. Shining down the road. Let's get down behind it. And it produces a river of light, as you can see. That's pretty nice. It's pretty bright. All right, YouTube, we're on the soccer field with this O light, and as you can see, it is crossing the field and hitting the goal. There's a lot of stuff in the air, but will it focus? There you go. Good job, camera. Yeah, so that's the opposite goal. <laughs> wow, a lot of stuff in the air. And I'm way back here crossing the entire soccer field. Now, if you had this light mounted on a firearm, I mean, you could see how useful that focused beam 
would be at identifying a target. Okay, YouTube, one more demonstration for you. I'm up in the second story window overlooking the backyard and the neighbor's yard. Wow, look at that spotlight effect. That is nice. Now, without the light, this is what you would see. Pretty much nothing except those very distant neighbor's lights. All right, and let's go turbo. Yeah, this is great for the backyard security mission. Let's say there was someone standing right over there. You could clearly see, you know. Yeah, this is awesome for the backyard security mission. You could detect any, any trespassers. You could detect any trespassers, and you would even be able to see if they were holding a weapon. I mean, this will light them up. You'll be able to see their faces, identify people. There's a wood pile. There's a pallet. Do some knife reviews there. All right, well, yeah, this is an impressive light. This is great for backyard security. And we are back. I hope you enjoyed that footage. So, final thoughts and conclusions on this new Olight. Uh, the combination of the 1800 lumens and the focus of that beam seems ideal for that tactical role. This thing uh, can spotlight a man-sized target at useful distances. And because it is a focused beam, it actually seems brighter than it is because it's getting more of the light into a small area now another very good thing about this light, the battery upgrade to the 21700, this has far more endurance than the previous model. And it is also a little bit brighter than the previous model. Uh, being rechargeable in the light, that's great. Uh, it comes with that little recharging station, very convenient, and it has faster has rapid charging. It's fairly compact and functional, gives you a good grip, and of course it's sized so that it can be used on a firearm, right? So that that's dictated by that. The fact that they've been able to give you a tail switch that's usable in hand as a tail switch, but also usable as a pressure switch with a firearm, and you can recharge you can recharge through right, the tail as well. So that tail switch uh, covers three different functions and yeah, that's not as easy as, as you might think. Now the use of that uh, TIR lens, I actually like that. Usually I prefer just a conventional reflector and not a lens like that. But for this light, the lens is the right choice because it's the use of that lens that actually gives uh, the beam uh, such good focus, right? So I, I like the TIR in this light. Now Olight has some very useful accessories available for this light. Now my light came with this item, right? That That is a ultraviolet, well, ultraviolet flashlight. Also available, you've got this conventional flashlight mount and you've got remote switch. All right now you're going to have to check the Olight website, check out the links that I will include in the text description box, because generally Olight will have different bundles and different packages, so they'll, they'll usually be one package that includes accessories if you do want to use it with your firearm, and then a separate package that, that'll maybe throw in a keychain light and so forth, so check out which deals are available. But these are just some of the things uh, that could ship with the light, depending on uh, which deal you take advantage of. But that's very useful. All right, YouTube, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this light. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite Olights. I've reviewed many Olights, as well as their competitors. And uh, yeah, this one is going to go into my, my normal rotation. All right, so check out the links. There'll be one to the Olight website. Uh, if this is on Amazon, by the time I post this, I'll have those links as well. 
And if you don't need a flashlight, check out my Leatherman links, and please shop through those links. They do help support the channel. And also, that new Byberry tool, there'll be a link to that as well. So just check out all the goodies in the text description box. Alright, so I do recommend this light. I think it'll be very popular, especially when uh, the, the tactical experts, the firearms experts, it's only a matter of time before they review this and, and shoot with it and post that. And then you'll have all the, you'll have all the gun guys uh, wanting this too. So yeah, I do recommend it. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.